Hello everybody, this is Andrew Wayne, and I wanted to ask you a question. When does a loss feel like a win? Well, stick with me through this video and we'll see. We're playing World of Warships. I'm in a Tier 5, Minikaze. It's a Japanese destroyer. It has six torpedoes across three torpedo tubes. It's got four guns. The guns are crap, though. And um, the torpedoes have a range of 7.1 kilometers, but I have an acquisition range of 6.1 kilometers. So what that means is I can fire the guns at 7 kilometers, but the enemy can't see me until I get within 6.1 kilometers of their ship. So the best way to play this is ninja. You want to sneak in, set your torpedoes off at 7 or just under 7 kilometers, and then try to get out and stay out of the 6.1 kilometer range so that they can see you, and they'll never know you fired your torpedoes until it was too late. Doesn't always work that way. Doesn't work that way very often, but when it does, it's a beautiful thing. So I start out at half speed, making my way towards this island. What I'm doing is I'm giving the enemy a chance to come down between the two islands. There are four islands, two side by side, the large ones. Got a third one in front and a fourth one in the back. For some reason, my teammate was firing off weapons. I wanted to make sure he wasn't firing at anybody. He could have been a team killer. The fourth island's not going to play any impact in this game because I don't go anywhere near it. But what the two islands together does is create a passageway. Sometimes you get ships coming down that passageway. That's why I started off slow. I'm trying to give the enemy a chance to get down in there and get stuck in that passageway. Because once they get in it, it's hard to get out. And then I can start firing torpedoes at them. And it may not guarantee an instant kill, but at least I can put some damage on them. So that's why you saw me start off slow to give anybody a chance to get towards that island. And making sure my guns are lined up, torpedoes are lined up. And then I'll zoom in between the islands to see if I can see anything. Seeing where my teammates are. And I don't see anybody down the island. Zoom in a couple of times. It is a mistake, but it's a bit of a newbie mistake. We're playing tier fives, and you don't get to be by tier fives without learning a few things. And people probably already realize that that's there and don't want to chance it early on in the game. But every once in a while, you get some Yahoo or some kamikaze player who wants to shoot through there. And you can, it's an easy kill. So nothing there. I'm going to turn left on this island, and I'm going to uh, follow the island uh, shoreline down to the end. Now, like I said, I'm in a destroyer. Destroyers aren't the toughest ships out there. Now, they do a lot of damage with their torpedoes. The guns are crap, but their armor is the lowest armor in their tier level. So destroyers get beat up a lot. They can't take a lot of, uh, a lot of people on head-on-head, on head, head-to-head. Um, you want to, like I said, you want to be sneaky. You want to ninja this. So what I'm doing is I'm paralleling this island, hoping somebody comes into my range, and then when I get down to the end of the island, I can set off some torpedoes and then book on out of there. I don't have anybody just yet. Slowly working my way down. I'm still at three-quarter speed. I'm trying to give the bad guys a chance to get down there. And there's a destroyer. Destroyers are easy. You want to take, well, not easy, but if you're going as a battleship, you want to take on destroyers, aircraft carriers, and other destroyers. Uh, or, excuse me, battleships, aircraft carriers, and other destroyers. You don't want to take on a cruiser. A cruiser will beat you up and take you lunch money. But I got him locked on, and you can tell that by the gray indicator line on the water. That tells me that if I shoot my torpedoes down that line, and as long as he maintains his speed and course, my, inter, uh, my uh, torpedoes will intersect with that uh, battleship. I'm waiting to clear the island, turn left to get lined up with torpedoes, clear the island, send off one, send off two, and send off three. And then I have to dodge my own teammate here because he sends off torpedoes without paying attention. There they are. He could have killed me and thus ended the game already. I lock on to my torpedoes to see what's happening, but I start taking enemy fire. I need to start doing some zigging and zagging, some evasive maneuvers. Once I get clear, I zoom back in on my torpedoes. Initially, it looks like I got all six on. My teammate sent some out too, so I got one, two, three of mine and two of his hit. Sadly for him, but good for me, I got the uh, credit for the kill. The way this game is set up is the last shot that kills the enemy, that's the one who gets the credit. And my last torpedo, my third torpedo, was the killing shot, so I got the credit for the kill. It's a bit of a kill steal, but unfortunately that's the way this game is. Now I just said you don't want to go on against a cruiser, but we're just about to do so. The reason is, he's coming up between this island, he's focused on my teammate to the left there. He's not paying any attention to me, and he's out of range. He can't see me, doesn't even know I'm there. 
I'm trying to lock on to put torpedoes down, but if you look at my torpedo indicator, it's swinging left and right, the gray one. That tells me he's zigzagging left and right. So I'm going to do some exploratory shots. I'll put some down to his right, some down to his left, and some down the center. Don't know if they're going to hit. I'm just taking a chance to see what happens. I'm going to acquire guns, see if I can do a little damage with the guns. Open fire. Hit with three, and little damage is exactly what it was. The guns on these destroyers are horrible. Um, they just don't do a lot of damage. Put one more on him, very little damage. Trying to wait to see what happens to my torpedoes. And there they go behind him, I missed entirely. Waiting for torpedoes to reload, shooting guns. Reacquired torpedoes, locked on. Sending down the gray line, trying to assume where he's at, but you can see he's moving again. So I send down all three shots. Tried to reacquire guns and start opening up on guns. He's actually ignoring me entirely. At least he's ignoring my guns. I think he notices the torpedoes because here immediately he starts turning to the right, dodges the torpedoes. I'm still shooting him with the guns. Though. One, two, three, four. Hit him with all four guns. Little to very little damage. Trying to reload. Wait for the. Indicator to turn green lets me know I've reloaded. Widen my spread. I've been missing him with the short spread, so we're going to hit him with the wide spread, see if we get lucky. Set off one, set off two, but then I'm a little late setting off three. I wait, finally get lined back up, set off three. Reacquire with the gun, start shooting. My teammates are just hammering him. We're keeping him busy. He doesn't know which way to go. I only hit him with one, but I catch him on fire that time. The fire is dangerous to a ship. It also forces you to reuse a repair module. You don't want to use those if you have to. There's rounds one and two. One goes behind him, another one goes in front of him. We're waiting for round three to catch up. Got him. Kill number two. Continuing on in the same direction that I'm going, I'm looking in the northeast corner. I see some of my teammates up there having trouble with some of our opponents. And I notice a destroyer and it is on the map, on the mini map, it is a red triangle and it looks like he's trying to inch his way down the coastline. He doesn't see me. I don't like doing destroyer or destroyer because it's a bit of a battle that takes up a lot of time. Don't get me wrong, it can be fun, it can be an adrenaline rush because it's you against them, equal ships, equal everything and it turns out to be who's the better player or who gets the lucky shot. I don't really don't like doing it because it wastes a whole lot of time of dodging and shooting and dodging and shooting but I'm going to try to take this guy on because he's pinned against an island I want to get these shots off and try to get my torpedoes onto him while he's still against that island he doesn't have a whole lot of places he can go to and you'll notice a second destroyer right behind him they two both popped up on the map one thing I didn't notice though is just as I started to turn right to acquire a target he turns left so now he's paralleling me forcing me to go even further right but unfortunately, it gives him more options to dodge now. I don't have him pinned against that island anymore. I go ahead and set him off because he still doesn't know I'm there. I'm still out of his range. But once again, the indicator's movement tells me he's zigging and zagging. So I'll go ahead and set him off just to see if I can catch him. And he ducks into the smoke. I tried to log on to with my guns, but the guns were just out of range. Now, smoke is a bit of a double-edged sword. Um, one, it's supposed to hide you, which it does. As you can see, I can't see him in the smoke. But two, the fact that there's smoke there is just a big indicator, big fat indicator of, hey, someone's hiding in this smoke. If there were enough ships of my own teammates there, we could just unload our guns and torpedoes into that smoke, and eventually we would get somebody. But unfortunately, it's just me. So just make sure that when you use smoke, you're using it in the right point at the right time. I'll lock on to the first one, send down three, one, two, three and three. Then I lock my guns onto the second destroyer. I'm trying to keep him busy. I don't want to give him a chance to get locked onto me or my teammates, so I fire on him with the guns and start forcing him to zig and zag. If he's zigging and zagging and he can't lock on with guns or torpedoes, it keeps him busy. I even managed to put one or two on him. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it keeps him going. He pops smoke, hiding behind that smoke, but remember what I told you, smoke is a double-edged sword, and I already know where he's at, so even if I can't see him, I'm firing because I'm going to get him. So he keeps going in and out of smoke, but I keep hitting him anyway. 
I finally lose him, decide to check on my first target, torpedoes miss, so I relock, reacquire, and send out some more torpedoes. One, two, and three. Now I can't see anybody else, so I'm still going to lock onto that first target with guns and see if I can open up guns with him. It, they don't do a lot of damage, but every point helps. He's firing at me, and I need to uh, turn around to reacquire, manage to take a couple of hits, lose a little bit of health. I got torpedoes on the way. Zoom in, see what happens. Miss the one on the left. Miss the battleship on the right. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Boom. One of my targets, I completely forgot about the second battleship hiding in smoke. And what did I tell you? Shoot them into the smoke and you might get lucky and that's exactly what happens. I missed the target I was aiming at, but the torpedoes went into the smoke and I got my, my destroyer anyway. So there's kill number three. We're down to three members on my team, six members on the opposing team. Trying to reacquire, turn around, turn around, reacquire. But then I noticed that one of my teammates is about to go right in front of me and I don't want to set down torpedoes because I might hit him. So I wait till he passes. He's on fire. He's taking quite a bit of damage. They're just opening up on him. As soon as he goes by, reacquire, send off torpedoes. One and two. I meant to send off the third one, but I was just quite out of acquisition range. So I reacquire with guns. Try to fire with guns. Every point that we can take away from him just makes it that much easier to kill him. Missed him, starting to come up on an island. I need to turn around. As I'm turning around, turn around, turn around. Torpedoes missed him. But as I'm turning around, trying to acquire targets, my teammate opens up on him and kills him. So that's a kill for the team. Now my target indicator tells me that my opponent is gonna be coming right up to the point of that island, so I'm gonna let off one, two, and three on that island. And then I'm going to acquire guns. But then as I acquire guns, I notice that he's turning to his left, which is going to take him away from my torpedoes. So basically, I missed him. Hit him with the uh, guns, not doing just a whole lot of damage. I keep aiming for the water line. The water line is where the ammunition is stored. If you get lucky and penetrate and blow up the ammunition, it's a critical hit. Firing, firing, where are my torpedoes? Where are my torpedoes? There they go. I missed them. They went behind me. Trying to fire guns, waiting for torpedoes to reacquire. Torpedoes one, torpedoes two. But somebody blew them up. It wasn't me. It must have been my teammate. I've still got three kills. My teammate dies, that leaves me the sole surviving member on my team against four on the opposing team. Now I'm looking at the ship on the left and my gun sights tell me that I need to fire about three quarters of the way down that island, but as I'm looking at it on the map I realize he's actually going to crash into the side of the island and ground this ship. It tells me he's not paying attention to where he's going, he's looking at me down the gun sights. So I'm going to actually put two right on the point of that island and ignore what the gun sights tell me because I know he's going to grant himself. I saved my third shot because I got another uh, opponent in front of me. I'm going to try to acquire on him, spin around, get set up, and fire my third round. Spin out of the way, make sure I'm out of his sight. See, so far if I'm out of his sight, he can't see me. He doesn't know I'm there. He knows I'm around somewhere, but he doesn't know exactly where. So I'm out of range of both of them. I'm watching both of them. That ship did ground up against that island, so I'm waiting to see if my torpedoes are on point. First round hit him. Second round hit him. Kill number four. Turn around, reacquire on the battleship. Waiting. Waiting, trying to get in range, trying to get in range, waiting. He sees me, I'm in range, but I can't acquire a target. Finally acquired target. Fired one, fired two, fired three, line up guns. Line up guns, line up guns, waiting for guns. 
And as I'm shooting at him, I notice his guns are actually pointing away from me. And this is a uh, battleship. They put out a lot of damage, and two of my torpedoes hit, took him down to half health, but didn't do any more damage. So I, when I realize that his guns are pointing away from me, I'm unloading as fast as I can, knowing that it takes uh, quite a few seconds. I be believe it's like 30 seconds to acquire. So anyway, I'm unloading, 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 waiting for my torpedoes to reload, trying to get as many hits on him as I can before he gets turned around. Because he could one shot me. Set down one. Set down two. Set down three. <coughs> Excuse me. He acquired guns. His gun still hadn't finished turning around. I'm trying to shoot him. He just went behind him. He's trying to turn into me. I'm trying to turn into him. We're just basically doing circles around each other. Uh -oh, now he's got his point on me. I know he's got his front guns. I need to worry about those. Torpedoes went behind him and missed. He fired his guns and he missed, which was lucky on my part because he could have one-shotted me. He's still trying to get acquisition. still trying to get his guns around. Thank goodness for so slow guns. Got more on him, waiting for torpedoes. Come on, torpedoes. Widen the spread. One, two, three. We acquired guns. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. He hit me, didn't one-shot me, but he is getting some hits on me. Watch, watch, watch. Is it going to be two? No, it's just going to be one, but it does take him down to almost near death. Got to reacquire guns, reacquire guns. He's not on fire. He's not flooding that I can see. He may be flooding, but he's not on fire. But if you'll watch, he's still his health is going down, so something, something is eating his health down. So he's either on fire or he's flooding. But before I can get my next torp, before I can get more torpedoes on him, he dies. Kill number five, which gives me the skill, release the Kraken. And that right there is what I was saying, why can a loss feel like a win? I'm um, the last ship surviving, I've taken out five of the enemy, and uh, did it in a little destroyer. Now I've acquired on this cruiser, you're not supposed to take, you really don't want to take on a cruiser, but we've only got two or three minutes left in the game. Not too much I can do. I know where one ship is. I have no clue where the third ship is. He could be anywhere on the map. I'm not going to find him in time. So let's see what I can do to this guy. I'm going to set off torpedoes. He's zigging and zagging. I'm waiting for him to commit to a direction. Looks like he's going to commit that way, or at least I thought. I sent him off. Missed him. So I sent off to his left, sent off to his right, hoping that I get lucky. It's just an exploratory shot. Open up with guns. He's acquired me. He sees me. And his guns are facing my way, so I'm in trouble. Torpedoes are underway. I'm firing, waiting for reload, waiting for reload. Torpedoes missed him. Second set misses him. Third set misses him. So now it's my guns waiting to reacquire and reload torpedoes. I shoot my guns, but he's actually spinning away and I missed him. I go behind this island. I can't shoot through the island. I'm trying to find a way to reacquire. His guns are on me. He hits the backside. Not really a whole lot I can do. Don't have smoke. Lays into me. And boom, I'm dead. So that was an amazing game, but I got my release the Kraken. Thanks for watching.